award-winning film director, producer, and screenwriter from India. He is the recipient of the Rajat Kamal Special Jury Award for the film Admitted from the 15th President of the Republic of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmu, at the 68th National Film Festival Film Awards by the Government of India. His filmography has touched upon uncovering diverse subject matters such as gender diversity and inclusion, culture awareness through Siklin's initiatives, humanitarian initiatives, healthcare, education, environment and sustainability, crime and legal awareness, social awareness, farmers emotions, old age, women empowerment, the evolutionary impact of social media and stories inspiring from the historical events. His next major film, Rabdi Awaz, which will yet again uncover the untouched aspects of the social fabric of our nation, is set to release this summer. He will be in conversation with Mrs. Renuka Salwan, former director, public relations, Bureau of Indian Standards and former director, public relations, Punjab University. She is a hardcore public relations and communication professional with almost 36 years of experience and specializes in strategic communication for image building. Her forte also includes managing corporate reputation, media management, end-to-end -end planning through execution for different media activities, brand management, holistic 360 degree conceptualization of nationwide publicity programs. She has received many awards for her professional excellence. She is also associated with the Chandigarh Management Association as life member and is also the Vice President North of Public Relations Council of India. Now I would like to call upon the stage our esteemed guests along with Professor Meenu Gupta to felicitate <laughs> And a very, very warm good afternoon to everyone. I am feeling so elated to be back in the university campus and sitting here and talking to you all. It's really a great privilege. Thanks to Dr. Akshay for giving us this opportunity today to uh, be face to face with you on a very, very important topic with our special guest Mr. Ojaswi Sharma here today and I hope we will peel by peel we will uh, you know learn about this multifaceted personality uh, about his work about his passion about his creativity and I think you'll carry home a lot of takeaways after listening to him welcome Mr. Ojaswi to this show to this lit fest in English department of Punjab University Thank you so much, uh, ma'am, and thank you so much uh, for having me here, uh, the English department. Even I have very fond memories of uh, filming every every road, every corridor, uh, the student center. You name any any brick on the wall of the university. I've been here and I've filmed it, uh, so it feels great to be back here. There is something I want to share. Maybe you will agree with me. Uh, seeing his demeanor and his personality uh, don't you think that he uh, he should be in front of the camera but he but he chose to be behind the camera so so uh, but i think we wish you that one day you are in front of the camera also so with these words i'll just uh, share that uh, before i start asking you about uh, your journey uh, we all will agree to it that imagination gives us a picture. That is what is there in your mind. And vision gives us that impulse to make that picture your own. So that is what you have been doing. This is all about filmmaking. First of all, I would like to know about your journey, about your uh, take on how you chose to be in the filmmaking career and what gave you this idea? Okay, so what gave me this idea, I'll start with that. I, everybody's journey starts from where you are right now. Sitting at a place and thinking and 
listening to a lot of people and wondering what to do in life. Whether whatever I think about my life, whether I'll be able to do it, will I be able to convince my parents? <laughs> <laughs> what will my friends think? I was uh, into my graduation in engineering and uh, I always had a passion for photography. So it was, you know, you have an education and then you have a passion, you have a hobby. And that hobby grows very seriously onto you. Yes. So I today we are at this lit fest and still there is a photography competition out there and I have just seen all those 10 photographs, right? So everybody has a hobby. So whenever I used to take pictures and I was there in Bangalore for my internship, I one of my friends had traveled back to Chandigarh for the placement and I told him and I was in no mood to take the placements. And I said, Ki, I still have to discover what I have to do in life. Yes. So I told him, he says, Ki, uh, oh, just ghar ja rahun, what do you want me to get from home? I said, don't get me mathiya or pinya. <laughs> that is what our parents do send us. You know, I said, bring my camera. So I had actually spent eight years of my pocket money saving for a camera and uh, bought my first camera and that is what became my best companion to carry my memories and I could bring my memories from any part of the country where I could travel, right? So you will have one friend of yours who is a photo, photo maniac, you know, photo crazy. Now these days we have a concept of selfie. At those days, you know, you didn't have a concept of selfies. You didn't have that big a memory card. When we started, we shot on the roll and we only had a counted number of photographs so our, our parents used to scold us i'm now sure you dare no. waste that role otherwise we are not buying you that role so we didn't have any yes. opportunity to take pictures yes and uh, our childhood we don't have many pictures uh, either yes yes right? because there were no phones that time and now a day a child is born you will have like hundreds of photographs you know mummy is taking photos masi is taking photos oh first Pella daant aa gaya uski photo you know special photo school. shoots now special there is a photo shoots baby shoot also happening so a lot of these ideas are actually inspired from films you know you've seen things happening in films and that inspires you do a lot in life and that kind of triggered me while i was taking pictures i said i brought according to me beautiful pictures back home but i could not bring the sound the way the traffic moved yes. and I had to actually explain why I took these pictures. So sometimes when we hear that phrase that a picture speaks a thousand words, I said, oh my God, now if that, that lady or that person will not understand those thousand words, how will I tell them what I was feeling when I was taking that picture? What was the aroma? What was the chattering that was happening around? So normally there is a whole process of writing a caption along with a picture and then a whole description if you see a lot of people posting yes. pictures these days right so i said no now i think i need to take it to a next level let me bring that story wherever i go so that was the starting point and the starting point will have its own story of how the first film also happened but i think this answers this this part yes yes that how, what i think the curiosity to pursue and at least try whether whatever I have dreamt to be in life, uh, I think you should take the first step. So actually, he, actually he, what he meant is that yes, whatever passion you have inside, don't let it go. Try it. At least try, try it. it. If, even if you don't go till the ultimate goal, at least walk a few steps and see how it feels to to be that to to be that person who will actually live that kind of life. So uh, I just took those initial steps and um, it so had its own share of struggles. But then if you see it a decade later, or more than a decade later, then it's a, it's a different story altogether. So he has a very different story now uh, after I think almost 10 years being yes. in this profession. So as I earlier said that he is a multifaceted uh, personality and uh, we will uh, take each layer to see what all he has achieved and how he has progressed in this uh, art of filmmaking and production also and then marketing also we will come slowly to all these uh, levels of filmmaking it is very important to know uh, that films is all about uh, art of storytelling 
so it's it's as you said you uh, had the picture but you had so many things coming in your mind that how to you know project them so this is i think a first step towards entering into uh, the bigger camera which which is known to be making a film so please tell us about your journey about uh, what was in your head storytelling is uh, what it is it is all about your head which you know but the other person doesn't know so then you he has to bring this to you the audiences to see what is there in his head and this is all about his journey so i would like to uh, know about the art of storytelling in your uh, filmmaking process right let me make this a little interesting so storytelling is uh, like two sides a sometimes you make a film and then you leave it to the audience to understand and interpret how how it reacts with you what it does with your mind and sometimes you give a direct point of view so storytelling is the director's ek director ki khurk hoti hai i will say well, this is the story this is the athlete i want to choose to make the biopic or this is the real life uh, war film that i want to show or i want to bring something that's totally fiction or maybe this something that's totally real and i want to introduce real characters i want a certain kind of music so there is always something brimming up even when you are uh, part of the process the filmmaking more than uh, once you begin making a film initially it's a very creative process but while you are making it it's a very instinctive process i mean you will follow your gut feeling right now according to you you have written the best story you have chosen the best possible person you can hire as the technicians to make the film i mean personally have you any one of you tried making a short film or tried doing a project on a film can i can i see some hands up ki who those who have attempted to even write a story for a film anybody has attempted writing a book writing a short story there there you can see wonderful hands so how many of you if i may ask have actually written the story yourself or have you entered into a process called collaborating writing i mean you will have two three set of writers writing a same kind of a film have you ever tried that or you have written the story yourself ourselves ourselves right so the process of making the film and writing the film that is where the game changes one person may write the film but then the number of people who come to make the film are like 100 times more than the person who has written the film so then the writer says aisa to maine likha nahi tha jaisa ye bana hai because then the artist comes and says aisa to artist aisa to character dialogue bol hi nahi sakta you have written somebody who stammers now if i stam mer is going to take time and i am going to do that for the rest 100 days of the schedule of my whole film if you have written a character who will limp throughout the film then you need to find an actor who will agree to limp for the next 100 days and still look very natural and then the cameraman will come and say bhai ji ye kitna limp karega <laughs> right because every time this character will limp i need to frame the shot accordingly and then a writer the journey of a writer may start by writing by narrating the story to the director or maybe just to the set of actors but the journey as far as i choose as a director is to narrate the film to the entire team i have to narrate the film to the comp- music composer because on what story is the music going to be made my cameraman is here so we have like more than the number of seatings i will have with my actors because they will play a certain part of the role in the whole film but i think i will have the longest narration with my technical team my editor of the film who is actually going to understand how the film was written and then how it was the process was actually yeah. shot and then what were the deficiencies in that whole process and then what has to be shown to the audience so we live through the longest time of the film so journey has been it it has been a learning curve and i think till we continue to make films we choose subjects like oh, the first thing is that you have to choose a subject that excites you first if you write a story that you feel ye audience ko pasand aayegi par mujhe nahi pasand hai so then you are a detached writer and a detached director because then you are not connected to the whole story yeah it's very important what comes to your mind when you, you do have to be in love with it right yes. it's like choosing a life partner i mean people will love how the couple looks but if they are not happy 
then it will be a failed relationship you know it's it's very similar to that so in the end you see an actor will end up doing more number of films a director in, in a career span if you choose the biggest directors you have come across in life i have come across in life my peer mates are making films we end up making around maybe like 15 films or 20 films in a career span but an actor will have a more than 100 films so you have to understand who lives with the process for the longest period of the time a writer may write a film move on to the next film ye film ab ban rahi hai let me write the next film and pitch the next production house or pitch the next publisher or get get it copyrighted but sure. the director after cho choosing the story till the day it's it's right there on, yes. the, on in the theater or in the ott and even if it makes the friday ko release hone ke baad uska monday bhi lagega ki nahi lagega wo internet pe kab aayegi what is the public reaction so you are just fingers crossed so it's it's, it's a very growing process yes. you know if, and it evolves uh, before 2020 it was a different process after 2021 it's all together a changed, very different yes. process now whatever we learned a decade ago it suddenly changed when we started making films people said ki uh, uh, what what length are you making uh, i said ki uh, i'll i'll make a short film is a short film kon dekhega eh tumhe badi film banani chahiye to ab humne kaha ki hamare paas budget hi itna hai mujhe यू स्पेंड कपल ऑफ लैक रुपीज ऑन ए शॉर्ट फिल्म फिर फीचर फिल्म करोड़ों में बनेगी और फिर हम फीचर फिल्म अनाउंस कर दी अरे तुम फीचर फिल्म बनाओगे अरे इतनी लंबी कौन देखेगा मैंने कहा पहले तुम डिसाइड कर लो तुमने क्या देखना है फिर वो कहते हैं यार तुमने कितनी बड़ी फिल्म बनाई हमने दो घंटे की फिल्म बनाई अरे दो घंटे की फिल्म आज के टाइम में कौन देखता है फिर वेब सीरीज आ गई लोग पूरी रात रात भर बिंज वॉचिंग कर रहे हैं मैंने कहा आप देखते रहे हो आठ घंटे की फिल्म आप सो नहीं रहे आप पूरी रात खाई जा रहे हो पेंडेमिक में वजन बढ़ा लिया आपने इतनी इतनी लंबी फिल्में देख के सो समाइम्स फॉर एज प्रोड्यूसर्स एज डायरेक्टर्स एज स्क्रीन राइटर्स इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो आई थिंक यू वेन एवर यू आर एट अ स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड वेन एवर आई स्टार्टेड एट अ पॉइंट इन लाइफ यू हैव टू बी कन्विंस विद योर सेल्फ यस Yeah, that is the confidence. Even if you go to go go to speak to your parents or to your elder uh, siblings, ki uh, didi, I want to do this. I want to do this in life. I want to make a film, or I want to be a writer. I want to do drama. I want to do theater. I want to pursue music. As an elder, they will first see how much are you convinced with your own self first. ऐसा तो नहीं है कि आज आपने decision लिया दो साल बाद कहोगे चलो now I want to be a travel blogger तो फिर वहाँ चले गए दो साल बाद फिर कुछ कर लिया. it works that way is also but the percentage is very less yes it's very true and your conviction makes all the difference your passion makes all the difference how you talk to the person he is talking about the sibling or the friends or the parents if you yourself are not convinced about what you are thinking so it is 100% sure we are also parents we also know that parents will never be convinced that you are serious about I your profession the people who love me first because people who <laughs> may not love me first see people who will love you first they will give you a very unbiased and an honest opinion ki boss uh, their story is like i think i've seen this in a korean film or it's a very uh, woh ghisa peta formula but people who don't know you i mean they will they are then further going to be far more critical because they are not at all attached to you people who love you they will still want to see you grow prosper and actually prepare you not to fail in a film because the day you decide now you are about to start making a film then it's not just your film it's a film in which you know everybody has to participate and take a claim as a part of their role whether nobody says i i am want to get associated with a really bad made film i want to be part of a hit film ab mere ko itne actors aate hain kehte hain sir hame na ek hit film karni hai मैंने कहा हाउ डू यू डिसाइड अ फिल्म इज हिट बिफोर यू हैव वर्क इन इट बिफोर यू एक्चुअली रेड व्हाट द डायलॉग्स आर व्हाट योर सीन इज मैंने कहा सी द स्टेक समटाइम्स इज नॉट नॉट जस्ट योर्स इट इज आल्सो द डायरेक्टर्स स्टेक बिकॉज द डायरेक्टर हैज टू हैंडल ऑल द 200 एक्टर्स इन द फिल्म नॉट जस्ट यू अलोन डेफिनेटली अदर्स एज़ वेल मे बी यू आर परफॉर्मिंग सो वेल एंड द पर्सन स्टैंडिंग ऑपोजिट टू यू इज लाइक डूइंग अ रियली really not yes. so good job yes yes so that also happens so just we we have uh, some people here who said that they have written some written. stories so uh, like writing a story as i said it is something in your head 
you have to visualize something it's not without visualizing anything and it is your leadership or your uh, vision which uh, brings it into reality you make it a reality tell us about the visualization part of it and how you go through that process in uh, completing your project right. uh, how important it is to first visualize in your head and then you know uh, sell the concept right so i think the first seller of the film is <laughs> me myself and the first buyer is me myself if i can sell to myself more convincingly then i think i am on the right track to start and as a maker i am not a reader i i have come to the department of english and cultural studies and i believe you read you read whatever is given to you in the textbooks maybe perhaps you are yes. very good uh, uh, readers of novels of of a lot of literature or maybe a lot of fiction but i am not a reader i am an observer that's how it comes to me i see action happening on the road i listen to people talking on the road i listen to all kind of accents all kind of languages all kind of music so i am more of a listener and more of an observer partly i read also and that that yes. is a bit of news partly facts that come to me facts that are brought to me and then i research to see whether it's valid or not and that's how even i discovered the film admitted i was reading the newspaper in which on one page there was news about our film winning an award and when i when i then you are curious to know okay you know your film has won the award because that just happened last night so that's news to the world but not news to you so when i turned the pages i saw dhananjay in the news and that's how i discovered oh i am from here and she is from here and that is how we got acquainted you know so then i met her and then then the film started so i am more of an observer and then ever since after that i never read anything about her i wanted to observe everything first hand because till main kahi suni baaton pe nahi jata till i meet till i investigate investigation is a big part of so, the so you try process. to learn your characters also uh, who are part of the story everything you make that is not i uh, matlab nothing happens to me just out of the fictional world i have i i pick characters that really exist you being a leader of your story and you may be having a big dream about your film but if you have a bad team i think it crashes so uh, uh, what do you uh, say about the team work and what kind of team you have built up to uh, give quality you know end product to the audiences what do you say about the team work i think uh, team work is the first major skill that anybody needs right now and, and until and unless you are a freelancer you are just a designer and you just have to work on your laptop if you want to grow you want to build something that audience loves to read or loves to watch or loves to listen to at large you are eventually going to enter into a process yeah. of building a team maybe if you are good into podcasting so then you need somebody to record maybe to write or maybe somebody else to interview so you can't be doing everything all by yourself yes, that right? is true and what brings along with a good team is big diversity you know a big thought pool that travels along with you know when we have uh, when we are working with young children inside a film you know one of our next films that we'll be starting in 2024 deals with children so until and unless you have a good uh, team that can actually handle children on the set then you yeah, you need to be on the same page, page if you have to deliver something and because all technicians come from various backgrounds you know they are not necessarily part of the same university same college or maybe trained on the same skill set so you have to actually do that homework before you actually start hiring actors if your camera is, is is on the same page with you if your editor is on the same page normally people shoot the film and then they hire an editor yeah so we don't do that we have a editor first who will actually tell us ki boss this scene is too long we are eventually going to cut it so don't shoot it that long 
So and sometimes we end up shooting that long. So that saves your time also. If you have a good See, team, uh, it it's works. like an army, na. You need to have a plan before you can start anything. If you're writing a book, and if you're not planned how big a book you want to write, so you can write endlessly. But then you write a book and then you go to a publisher and then publisher maybe will deny not to publish that book. Then what will happen to your dream? So you that have to start meeting people and start building a team. Somebody is going to take care of certain aspects of your whole process. So we have a team of assistant directors, we have a team of editors, we have a team of visual co compositors, we have sound designers, we have music composers, we have folly editors. Uh, then there's a big VFX team, there's a big marketing team, then there's a legal team, then there's a distribution team. Yeah, then somebody so has to uh, f call up the film festivals and speak to the distributors. So there, you can't expect the director to do everything, na? But there is a plan, somebody yes. has to set the plan. Yes. It's like the same head of the institution has to lay down certain rules of how according, it's like being the captain. So this is Do what I am follow any sport. Is anybody following cricket? Right? Football Everybody. or any sport. So a, a game in which you have 10 players or maybe more than 8 players, then everybody can't be playing the center forward all the time. Somebody has to be a wicket keeper, somebody has to bowl, somebody has to be the commentator. So you have to derive an analogy of whatever relates to you of how films even work. As a filmmaker, uh, there are different compartments of, uh, you know, your company or your, till your end product, you have to deal with various people. people. So we can uh, say that it is the production, it is uh, the direction, the uh, and the major aspect of it is what you have produced, how you have to market it. Market. That is very important. So I would like uh, you share your... Uh, insight about all these different departments of uh, your filmmaking process. I think these are all very important for any filmmaker. So how do you uh, deal separately with all these? Right. So I'll tell you a very practical, uh, do you have, has, has anybody, I mean, uh, of you read filmmaking as a, as, a, as a subject, film studies as a subject, anybody pursuing it as well as, as a separate course? Right. So, and, and how you really films may interested in you want to do something in films? There are two hands there. How many of Three. you watch films? Everyone. <laughs> All hands down. How many of you don't watch films? You don't watch films. You read? Right. So, good. So, we'll not talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about the audience who watches the film. So, filmmaking is broadly the production part and once the film is ready, then it's the marketing release and distribution and the feedback part. So, filmmaking is broadly into pre-production, production and post-production. That is the process of making that film. Pre-production consists of uh, writing the script, hiring actors, doing the technical recce, finalizing the locations, finalizing everything that has to be ready. Like you just have done this event, you have, you have prepared for it, right? Yeah. So right now, whatever is happening is the production stage. And after when this program will be out and photographs will be out, that will be the, be the stage of post-production. When you put these photographs or the, these videos on the internet and when people outside this whole observation area watch this, then it will be the release and distribution and the marketing stage. So till when you see films on the OTT or when you see films in the theatre, that is a stage when they release the process called the release and the distribution process. Distribution essentially talks about availability of the film. Kis kis theatre mein film lagi hai, kahan kahan film lagi hai. And then the process when the film is released, a process starts called promotion of the film. Yeah. Where you are travelling, where you are doing press conferences, you are, you are meeting uh, the fan group or people who admire your film or people who are wanting to watch your film or they have actually seen your film. That is very important. That is very important. Because that is where the feedback actually comes, whether the film has really done well or not, or maybe there's something that people liked about your film or not. So, the, and what, what efforts you are making for the marketing, you know, that, that part is very Ma important. Commercialization of your project. See, right now we have been blessed to, you know, have the direct audience feedback. Our films, 
we have made a very conscious call of releasing it direct to to the audience uh, more than 30 films we have released for free on youtube agar aaj aapko bola jaye ek feature film release ho rahi hai jo ki free mein aap dekh sakte ho kitne log dekhne jaoge everyone नहीं नहीं फिफ्टी परसेंट याद खड़े हैं फ्री में भी फिफ्टी परसेंट ही जा रहे हैं बाकी लोग फ्री में नहीं जाओगे या टिकट लेके जाओगे टिकट टिकट लेके कितने लोग जाओगे विद पॉपकॉर्न मैं जाऊंगा नहीं नहीं पॉपकॉर्न नहीं मेरे को टिकट चाहिए पॉपकॉर्न इज पॉपकॉर्न विल गो टू द मल्टीप्लेक्स इट विल नॉट कम टू द प्रोड्यूसर टिकट विल कम टू द पार्ट ऑफ द टिकट कम्स टू द प्रोड्यूसर so as as a producer myself i want to support the courage of any producer who says okay boss i am giving you something for free will you value for free how many of you actually use a a website called wikipedia i use it aapne kabhi uske upar padha hai ki wikipedia is facing crisis you can contribute or you can donate how many of you actually have contributed I contribute to Wikipedia every quarter. मतलब I mean the percentage of money will always vary as far as as a student can do and as a professional can do. But it's wonderful to see that students, students are good. are doing. So when you are getting, wonderful. when you are accessing information or entertainment for free, have you ever wondered why is it being given to you for free? How many of you use? a website called google.com how many of you watch youtube i watch it have you ever paid to watch youtube you have paid to watch youtube you subscribe to youtube premium correct so there's only few people i mean less than a percent people who actually pay to watch youtube or something that comes to them for free so how do you think creators who who make those films sustain their life Will you ever want to make a film, or write a book, or make a painting and just gift it out for free? Can you do that all your life? No. When that wasn't my dream either. मेरा भी सपना वो नहीं था. But I realize, you know, there are a lot of people right now who cannot afford. When I was a student, I found it very difficult every time spending two hundred rupees watching a film in the theater. because that perhaps that time that was the only accessible we didn't have a netflix or 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 yeah. an amazon prime or or a sony live or any of the ott platforms that we actually watch dish tv tha matlab yeah, uh, normal uh, normal ghar mein lagne shuru hua that sky the and airtel and other other so we are trying to make it accessible so just to give you an idea our next film will be releasing for free it's a feature film it's going to be released in the theaters it's going to be screening at almost all places but If we make it available for free to all of you, will you watch it? No, yeah. I need hands up for that. I cannot <laughs> hear ya. Yeah. So still, there are forty percent of people who say even if you give it to us for free, we will watch it. Why not a hundred percent? I I put that question on to you. You don't value things come to you for free, or you want to reciprocate the gesture by saying don't give it to us for free because uh, we are willing to support. Uh, uh, Film producers, makers to make good, meaningful films. Actually, we have heard from someone saying the line that "itne me itne hi milega." So that's why <laughs> when we go for free, so the quality is compromised in that case. No, it's. Uh, I am a national award-winning filmmaker. <laughs> so I will give you on the stamp on the quality. Will you come to watch the film for free? Absolutely. <laughs> How I'll many of you can change the decision? Can you can you recommend one more person along with you to come and watch the film, sir? It's not only about films, but there are also about some shows where uh, we say that okay, it's for free. Okay, then uh, we have to compromise with the quality. So, Will you read reviews and then come to watch the film? Things are the same. Not all five things are the same, but they have these instances like that. Right. So I mean, I understand that there is a kind of a fear. I mean, whether if something is coming to us free. for free, whether uh, uh, how about the COVID vaccine? I mean, that was free. <laughs> you took it, <laughs> and you don't know what's gone in. I mean, I'm not sure what's gone in, but I'm fine. I mean, we have to trust sometimes. You know, it's the faith. So I understand your faith, and I understand how 
it goes everybody will have their own opinion so shiva if you are listening to this 40% people are actually going to turn up for the film <laughs> uh. how many of you know that his film admitted is on whom yes yes please yes yes first transgender of your own university punjab university and it was all shot in the campus so so big round of applause for the uh, picture which brought laurels not to him alone but to the nation to the campus itself also because it is all about the transgender first transgender of punjab university and also it is shot in the campus what prompted you first to take this subject and uh, how was your journey and how do you feel now after uh, getting the rajat kamal so basically there are three questions yes <laughs> okay so the first one what prompted me to make this film is again curiosity and uh, i had shared that when i was traveling back from the haryana international film festival our film zuban won the best actor award and uh, i was reading news about our film right okay so uh, in the same newspaper on in the city edition i heard uh, i read an article about uh, um hostels not being given to transgenders at the punjab university so that fight that that plea is still on i think uh, that's that's still, that's still on so i thought if they are students and if they are part of the system you know why should they be allowed to stay outside if you know somebody cannot afford a house outside if they can only they want to stay here within the campus it makes them feel secure and uh, uh, they can eat food in the mess and and perhaps they are willing to pay for it also you know nobody wants to run free all the time you know so that intrigued me and uh, then i spoke to the news office and then uh, mona got me connected to dhananjay mona is now my wife and uh, so she works for the tribune right so she uh, got me introduced to dhananjay ji and uh, i called her didi so i met didi and uh, i spoke to her and i told her ki didi i have read about you and i have before i go and meet anybody Uh, it's it's done and said that i have done my part of research before i know inside out about that person so i said that i am very curious about your life and maybe this film actually that i have in mind will actually you know open the door for a lot more people who are actually uh, uh cis gender people who are actually right now also discovering their own gender a and then b orientation so these are two very different things right yes and till then uh, the section uh, i think 377 was not uh, uh, decriminalized if i'm naming the section right now uh, so uh, that is homo homosexuality was 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 a crime till date uh, by the supreme court but that that was removed so i mean we have a uh, pride week every year here here at the punjab university yes, so i filmed two consecutive pride weeks and i was here inside the campus 2017 18 until the early 19s and almost the filming happened for uh, a year ek saal tak we filmed our team moved i was there and and trust me i was the producer of that film i didn't have funds that could last uh, for more than a year you know hiring technicians and uh, so i took the camera on my shoulders and i kept moving inside out and while even i was walking in the corridors today now even i know the spellings written on on the washrooms because i know inside out everything of how we filmed on the back side here and we have to when we trace the journey of the entire 50 years five decades of our life i mean it came with with, uh, with its own set of challenges uh, we had the first screening of admitted at the law auditorium of punjab university so we had the press conference where we announced the film it was ready and i had saw, seen the trial of the film and uh, the day i had seen the trial of the film two days later i called dhananjay ji for the trial of the film we had we had a big preview room and in the preview room it was only her <laughs> and me and my editor so dhananjay ji was sitting right there in the middle row i was sitting in one corner my editor was standing in in the third corner so we were not sitting 
इकट्ठे नहीं बैठे थे सो दैट वॉज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मोमेंट यू नो बिकॉज नाउ यू डोंट आइदर दैट वॉज अ डिसाइसिव मोमेंट वेर आई गुड से ओके नाउ इज एट द राइट टाइम टू अनाउंस द फिल्म इट वॉज रेडी इन वंस द फिल्म वॉज ओवर यू नो शी शी डेंट मूव शी कैप्ट सिटिंग एंड एंड आई शॉट की शेट ये तो बहुत गलत हो गया ये तो मुझे लगता है कि तो पिक्चर बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं आई इनको तो शी शी स्टार्टेड वीपिंग शी सेट कि ये मेरे ना आपने पूरे 45 चालीस साल जो है ना मेरी पूरी रील चला दी आपने मेरे सामने मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा कि कौन कौन सा दर्द उठाऊं और कौन सा छुपाऊं तो शी गॉट अप शी हक मी एंड देन शी शी रोट मी ए नोट एंड दैट नोट इज इज आई थिंक राइट नाउ बिगर देन देन द रजत कमल फॉर मी वेर शी सेज कि मेरी मेरी लाइफ को इससे ज़्यादा कोई नहीं समझ सका जितना आप समझे तो शी एट रिटर्न दैट इन हिंदी सो आई एम जस्ट समराइजिंग वॉट शी रोड एंड आई हैव अ पिक्चर माई एडिटर ई सेड आई विल नॉट लूज दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू क्लिक दैट मोमेंट एंड आई मीन वी आर नॉट प्रटेंडिंग टू बी क्लिक टी दैट बट वो दूर से जैसे वो लिख रहे हैं और वो फोटो खींच ली सो दैट हैज़ अ मेमरी नो वी हैव अ एपिसोड ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज वेन वेन द फिल्म एक्चुअली रैन सक्सेसफुली फॉर हंड्रेड डेज यू नो सो वी हैड अ स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑन हंड्रेड डेज Uh, of admitted and uh, we hmm. drove from the the shooting venue till Elante Mall. We ran up the escalators and वहाँ पे भी picture Amazon station पे चल रही है and we like कि यार इतना and if you even go and see it on YouTube right now, you will see I think I think I will stop counting the comments on that video But, and actually people have actually opened up writing in the comment section that this happened with me. and now i have found a safe place where i actually can go and apply for my graduation or my post graduation program and thank you punjab university uh, for creating that environment for 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 the third gen so actually uh, i would like to share here that after this film uh, there is lot of recognition she also got and lot of awareness created among the masses like normal people like us we would you know give respect to the transgender uh, and i would really uh, request you all to please go and see that film and see what all efforts have gone behind uh, that film making it is of uh, it's a feature it's a two hour film it's it's uh, 1 hour 58 minutes 58 minutes so so uh, so you please go and see and it will bring change in your thinking and your awareness also and in that one year we have seen the journey of dhananjay yeah, also yeah. Uh, she has been accepted and she has been invited all over the country for you know sharing her yeah, experiences you know, has grown i mean when we announced the film on august 22nd uh, 2018 now you understand that uh, the five years have <laughs> gone by so uh, even when i look at my interviews i look very different <laughs> Yes. Even during the making of the film, my beard changed five times. <laughs> मेरे बाल बदल गए, मेरी दाढ़ी बदल गई. And I was looking. So when people saw, he said, "Ki we are also looking at changing shades of Ajasvi. We are looking at changing shades of Dhananjay, and we are looking at changing shades of the film." I said, "What are you, for God's sake, watching in, in the interviews? You know, मैंने कहा focus on the film. We announced, and I I I told that this picture I'll give it, give it to the world for free because I cannot restrict this film into cinema halls. We have to liberate this as a film. So making it free actually sometimes liberates it. It also stops the process." of piracy of corruption actually wanted people of all age groups and especially the community because they are also feared up ki hame mainstream kitna accept karega so we actually yeah. had mainstream talking about uh, the trans community in the whole film and uh, i claimed that the film will be available for free and till date it is available for free despite all offers coming from every big distributor right so you will go and see and find many familiar faces of punjab university in that film and you would be able to connect to the film because you are in the campus and it is all about the campus life also and about her life and uh, to add to it i don't know how many of you know that uh, during this whole struggle they have also been successful in getting the first transgender washroom in the punjab university campus it for them <laughs> this is for them i do it just able to show how yes, the whole yes. momentum was actually taken up and it led to success 
So and that cell is there at the student center. Yes, and and uh, PU campus is the first one in the whole uh, country to have provided this facility to a transgender. So so that is all about you people belonging to this campus. Uh, Ojasvi, uh, you have made films giving lot of socially relevant uh, subjects, you know, to the audiences. Uh, first, I would like to know uh, what do you feel about the social responsibility quotient for the audiences when you are making a film and also throw some light as you have thrown some light on uh, admitted. You have many more subjects on which you have worked which are socially relevant to the society. So I would like you to share uh, what all other socially relevant films you have made, some few, some few lines about each and how important it is for the audiences. Ever since the day I was born and ever since the day you have all been born, uh, films have played a major role in our lives. I mean, I say that before the pre-wedding shoot bhi hota hai na. <laughs> so that will be a film. Bhi dehne hai. If you want to wear great costumes, you want to look majestic, you want to look like someone, films serve as a great reference point. Uh, music is a part of our lives. And imagine a world without films. Then imagine the vacuum that will be created. So I cannot imagine a day when, even look at the pandemic, what were people actually doing? They were watching films only. Hmm. So if they were not, if you were not attending the university, you were not allowed to go and play your favorite sport, you were not allowed to meet your friends, so you would do a Zoom call, you would do a WhatsApp call and that is also part of a video call. So you were actually exchanging your information with them and there were stories that were being created. Now you see there are like, like thousands of films just on the lockdown. And I've just seen a very beautiful film very recently called Bheed in the theatres. Hmm. Uh, that is again uh, a film on, on something that happened during the lockdown. So I made films, uh, I can start naming them. Zuban was the first film that actually uh, hit 17 film festivals. Uh, it started this journey from Vancouver, then it went to North America, then it went to Britain, then it came to India, NFDC, jo, uh, yeah, IFI Film Festival hota hai, Goa mein, that is the film festival by the government of India, then we took our films there. Uh, Zuban was based on uh, the witness protection bill which still does not, is, has not become an act. So if you are a student of law or if you understand crime, then you will understand that, you know, uh, if somebody witnesses a crime, they will not become a gawani bante wo because there aren't ample witness protection facilities available, yes. right? Uh, so that film uh, spoke about that matter. Our next film, The Last Date, spoke about a man's love with his land. It's a farmer's son who's gone to Canada and comes back. And it's a very difficult decision to sell the land to save a family member's life. So, कुछ लोगों के लिए उनकी ज़मीन ही उनका सब कुछ होती है, उनका अस्तित्व होता है, उनकी उनकी गहराई होती है, उनकी पहचान होती है कि जी हम ज़मींदार हैं, या इस ज़मीन से ही हमें अन मिलता है, ज़मीन से ही हमें पैसा मिलता है, ये ज़मीन ही उपजा हुआ है, तो ज़मीन को धरती को हिंदुस्तान में माँ का दर्जा द is your life to save someone who is your life. So that is the dichotomy that was struck in that film and that film also did really well in the film festival. So initially when we started the films built on critical acclaim which was far more thoda fulfilling tha because sometimes yes. when it's like giving an exam. If you're getting good marks and still not getting a good job, you're still happy that you're getting good marks. Good marks. But yes. then, then you have to wait to break through into the mainstream market, right? And then I uh, made films like Badalti Soch which was on rural health and it was, we did that project and I was very happy that for the first time the director uh, health services of uh, Chandigarh actually collaborated with us to do a film and that film we didn't create a set, we actually took a, a proper dispensary of the government uh, and we actually did film, film there. So that was as an independent producer you understand your share of challenges. So you're not willing to make films that are of very longer length, right? 
then we uh, did a film called Lucky Kabutar that was released on PTC Punjabi and that is still running on TV. So imagine a film released in 2018 and still running on television five years down uh, down the line. So that that struck a chord within the Punjabi market. We made that film in Punjabi language and people uh, love that film when they watch it. And that film was on Kabutar Bazi. So if you understand what Kabutar Bazi is and you can write good humor around it so that film was lucky kabutar so the kabutars who get lucky are called lucky kabutars that that was the uh, line so everything always carried an underlining message so we were not really selling the message we were actually focusing on the story and then the message was something that came as, as like um, uh, that that seasoning that comes with the pizza you know so you know you are not buying the pizza always for the seasoning you would buy the pizza but that seasoning comes along with that Absolutely. and that adds to the flavor of your whole dish so after that i uh, admitted started filming so we spent around 2 years filming admitted nearly and then made a film called chorasi then i happened to film the hundred years of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. So that was a life-changing moment for us where I actually had to film the real descendants of the martyrs of the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. So imagine us going to their homes and see them cry in front of your eyes and, and imagine how, how that would make you feel. And, and the making, entire crew is... And making them ready to come out, come ready out to with come the out. stories. And openly, you know, talk about the government ne any kita, oni kita, and then there's a lot of censorship involved in that, and you know, you can't go totally against or totally in favor because there are there is a soaring point. Uh, and the, the the underlining thing was that if the people will forget you, then who will give life for the country? The people easily move on, you know, say, okay, move on, move on in life, move on in life, move on in life. You meet Fauji people, you meet people who have, who have actually lost their lives, you, have, you meet the common citizen who has lost their life for the country. And they will not let you forget that someone from their family died so that you could, you could attain freedom and independence and, and become a liberated nation and you could talk about all these matters that really matter to you. And then we brought the film festivals in India. Yes. Sick Lens Film Festivals in India. Now, cut to forward, we, I happen to uh, film a lot of documentaries on the social and humanitarian issues across Punjab, everywhere. Made films on a lot of NGOs. So, when our film admitted and all these films people had started watching, so they actually started coming to me and said, Ki hamare liye bhi kuch bana do, and hamare liye bhi kuch bana do. And that was a time when you actually, when, when things come from the reverse order, how do you measure success? As an artist, as a director, if you are making a film, and once your film is there into the market, and then you are approached by more people to make make films. That so is. is that not a measure of success? True. Yes. If you are an author and people come to you and say, Agli kitab likho, we are willing to pay and buy all the one lakh copies that you make. And you are like, chode ho na? And that is a point where your team comes into part, mother comes into the picture. So never forget those people who stood with you in that phase of the time when you were nothing. And that is the moral that came to me at that time that उन लोगों को कभी नहीं भूलना जो आपके साथ तब थे जब आप कुछ भी नहीं थे जब आप कुछ बन जाते हो तो now everybody is, is all with us and we are working with the longest time people now the next film is रब्दी आवाज yeah so we'll be releasing this film in uh, it's a feature film and I will again say <laughs> we have a unique way to release that film and uh, it will be released uh, this summers in 2023 so i hope you all watch the film yes definitely they they need to go and watch the film and see how even social if you don't go i have a way where the film can come to you <laughs> but you have to tell me if you're going to watch it or not <laughs> yes the the screening can be organized in the punjab university itself for the students so uh, so friends we have seen that how many films he has made they have a uh, hidden socially relevant message for the society and then people are approaching him for making more films. What do you call about the uh, creative expression, uh, how important it is for any film 
uh, how do you we, we say that it is your inner moonlight to express your thoughts so what do you uh, contribute that creative expression in the uh, field of visual art how do you how do you take that i take that very positive <laughs> i think it's important it's important it's it's something uh, filmmaking is a very experiential thing you know if you are watching a film and it's right there running on the television or in the theater it is stimulating you maybe you are observing what the two characters or the multiple characters are talking maybe you are invested in that fight sequence maybe you will relate maybe yeah, you will unrelate maybe it will disturb you maybe you will let it go there are a lot of films i have worked out watching myself my own films where i have been totally disturbed and i have gone back and i said ki nahi i have to <laughs> fix it back again so that people don't detach from the film my cameraman sitting here he asked me sometimes you know why are we still filming the whole film after we have wrapped up the schedule i said i'm still not convinced बारिश का पानी अच्छे से नहीं गिरा है तो जब तक वो अच्छे से नहीं गिरेगा हम बारिश होने की वेट करेंगे और हम उसको शूट करेंगे तो दैट इज द होल प्रोसेस दैट इज हाउ इट टचेस द बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू सी व्हेन यू क्लिक अ फोटोग्राफ ऑफ द रेन हाउ कैन यू क्लिक अ फोटोग्राफ ऑफ अ रेन यू विल हैव टू क्लोजली गो टू रेन वाटर फॉलोइंग एंड दोस ड्रॉपलेट्स एंड एक्सप्रेस रेन हैज हैपेंड बट व्हेन यू शूटिंग अ फिल्म there is a th- sound of a thunderstorm there are people running here and there koi chhata leke koi kitab leke koi gaadi mein ja raha hai koi pani chalkate hue ja raha hai koi usko koi daant raha hai ki tu dekh ke gaadi nahi chala sakta so then you you bring a lot of energy when you are actually filming a sequence of the film and then you are also thinking ki how did the team shoot this sequence because cameraman bhi barish mein khada hoga na तो उसके ऊपर भी एक छाता लेके खड़ा है और उसके पीछे लाइटमैन का भी छाता लेके खड़ा है सो देयर इज अ बिग टीम इन्वॉल्व्ड इन आल्सो यू नो कवरिंग दैट सीन एंड देयर इज एन ऑडियंस यू आर एक्चुअली वंडरिंग व्हाई दे व्हाई इतना इतनी मेहनत इन्होंने इस सीन के लिए क्यों की होगी सो देन वी स्टार्टेड विद अ प्रोसेस कॉल्ड डॉक्यूमेंटिंग ऑफ हाउ वी फिल्म दैट सीन सो दीस आर बिहाइंड द सीन्स दैट एक्चुअली केम इनटू पिक्चर वेयर यू एक्चुअली डिस्क्राइब द प्रोसेस ऑफ हाउ यू आर मेकिंग दैट फिल्म सो समटाइम्स process is far more is interesting to us than the actual film sometimes so it's actually it is a moment in a film but then you take a long time Dekh, to kuch kisse hamare bhi to hote hai na <laughs> usko banane ke that is that is true so now coming to the language part yes see uh, we we uh, we'll agree with it that the knowledge of language is a doorway to wisdom and your thought process is you know expressed in a language in which you are working so what do you uh, want to share about the role of language in film making and how would you like to share your insight about it right so language uh, a there is called grammar and b then there is the language so language when we consider language in in a film it is majorly expressed through dialogues of the film dialogues screenplay may not be in a proper language it may be slightly unstructured because screenplay is something that the audience will never read they will only hear dialogues so whatever True. you write is actually audio and the screenplay scenes are basically of how the camera has to be framed how to if a scene requires much so that is majorly the scene description right so language is very important because you have to give words to every character in the film and india majorly falls into now multiple languages hindi being spoken by a large set of population yeah english is merely subtitles in the film now if you see that i think i have grown up watching indian films in hindi language that is my growing up years when we reached a stage when i crossed my 20s i started watching films in other languages such as telugu malayalam marathi bengali and everything came with english subtitles so accuracy of subtitles also started mattering after a point of time where people who were avid readers started you know pointing out mistakes in subtitles or maybe scene descriptions so language became very important if we talk about the language english 
it comes bits and parts in the dialogues but there are very few or rarely films that are made in 100% english language in india the percentage is very less i think we need data from the central board of film certification to give us that the largest number of films are made in the language hindi followed by vernacular languages as we say so language is very important because that is wo- what becomes the sound part of the whole film so maybe your message for uh, students from english department here because uh, tomorrow they may be uh, writing dialogues for a film maybe post production team part maybe something else you know doing related to the film making or story writing or understanding you you may be uh, you know uh, in any area of your life but you have to understand language and how you have to express maybe you are a translator somewhere some student can be a translator so what is your uh, uh, you know message for the youth uh, with respect to language how important it is right so my first uh, uh, um, i mean take away from here is you know you need to have command over your main language on which you have practiced and which you have studied first because that will become a part of the degree no matter however you may diversify in life people will say oh okay you are you are from this department and you have studied this language so that tag will always carry along with you nonetheless you 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 reach whichever heights in life right and then b you need to have a respect for all the other languages i mean we are indians no language is above the other everybody has a respect for their own language bhasha boli dialect when you know you are making films you need to know the language in which the nation speaks and the nation understands you'll see you'll see technicians you'll see film directors you'll see uh, film actors meeting and greeting in english but when it comes to making films they are making it in hindi right right so you'll have people who work in hindi films you suddenly see them doing telugu films also you see a lot of actors who, who do hindi films suddenly you see them doing punjabi films you see a lot of punjabi actors doing hindi films even if the screenplay is being written in english it has been done in in the language it is intended to be censored in the central board of film certification actually censors a film in a particular language now you see posters of of a film ki this film is available releasing in hindi malayalam telugu english in all languages it means now maybe that film has been shot in multiple languages or that film has been dubbed in those languages i remember the first time i saw a dub program was a cartoon cartoon network started coming to india in hindi language pogo channel and all yeah. these channels discovery channels started coming in that language so when you have to make your story reach out to a different audience you need to follow the language the audience understands so that is my uh, thought for all of you is that you need to understand the language in which actually your film is going to be made and it's going to be released so follow that language i want to know uh, there are lot of youngsters here how many of you are reading books also today it improves your language what i feel so are you into reading habit also because in technology uh, era not many people are reading books these days how many hands are there who who read book magazines how magazines you read instagram <laughs> <laughs> how important reading habit is for doing anything maybe related to the language or the any profession which they are going to go see i'll go with with one thought it will always depend on what era are you reading if you are reading shakespeare maybe the society that we observe doesn't communicate in that language at all yes so sometimes there is a striking contrast in what we are reading and what we are living so maybe you want to read dan brown you want to read any xyz book i i'm i'm not very familiar with a lot of uh, books i i'll be honest to say that because i i told you in the beginning i am not a reader i am an observer so my hand picking is from the observations but if you are reading but then you need to find your comfort zone and it's very good and very right to believe and live in your comfort zone also 
because that forms your expression if you are reading all stories set in new york or you have all all love stories i mean very few stories will come as a love story coming from bangladesh and you would not be <laughs> really excited to read about it maybe there are there are stories that have been written on the partition of india you know we have we have great authors who come from india and how many of you write read indian authors is i may ask Less of books, magazines. magazines, correct. So magazines is, is a form of reading current trends as well, as I may see it. Magazines because they will tell you which things which are more topical, and they are being written by writers just like all of us who join magazines or become contributing writers and write. So through magazines, I understand we read a lot of modern day language, variety as well, variety as well right? and when i am reading novels i am reading a country an expression maybe a british author has written that maybe an american author has written that maybe an african author has written that maybe i am reading a book called the train to pakistan by kushwan singh that was not written today because today no train runs to pakistan <laughs> no train comes back so so the the whole expression evolves and gradually internet has actually shortened the way now i used to receive a message called okay now i just receive k now expressions have gone from language to emojis how many of you agree on that maximum, right maximum people i have seen a language called english yes because natively we are all born and brought up in our languages and then we are taught a certain language so then we behave both ways and some people choose to walk the middle path so they write english write hindi but they choose the the latin script so that is english and 10 years back i didn't know this word existed now yes. if i go and search for this word in english so it is like hindi written in english but the reverse is not happening so keep on reading and it's very fair it's very nice to believe what you read live in that world and then see if you can do with whatever knowledge that have, you have acquired out of it how yeah. can you put it to actual use that is that is where the actual game will start reading will not just help you nobody has earned from reading you know i have not seen anybody making a life out of reading reading empowers but then when you are empowered what will you do to make a living or help other people that is what what is going to make 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 the difference very well said thank you ajaswi uh, i think yes reading uh, habit should be inculcated in each one of you it will grow you many fold in terms of knowledge in terms of vocabulary in terms of description you know something you are re reading a scene in a film uh, in a book and how it describes about the flowers the scenery the hills anything it is always you know you are taken to that uh, scene you know in your vision when you are reading it so it is all about gaining knowledge from those books uh, oh jessie i would like to know uh, if you would like to share with the students about your other projects you are undertaking apart from uh, filmmaking frankly some, i don't some, get some some campaigns time. some campaigns yeah. so if i feel for a cause i will produce a campaign around it so that's how i support uh, try to support uh, any cause whether it be for you know uh, when covid happened uh, i think we were the first producers to have a campaign running campaign on on india fights coronavirus on 20, 22nd of march right now people didn't even know what were the precautions and that and that they were just reading rumors so we started doing with that when i got involved with rotary uh, they do a very iconic project called the dinner in the dark and uh, so i thought uh, if uh, you are being served food by uh, the visually impaired persons and uh, people need to know about the experience that they are going to ha you know have inside when they are being served food in a pitch dark room 
yes and you suppose to you know um, aapko wo mehsoos karwayenge ki how do they eat food without even seeing what it even looks like and can you still you know see the difference and uh, we should always you know hame acha mehsoos hona chahiye ki everything in us works pretty much normal than a lot of people and uh, so i did campaigns for them then i did campaigns for healthcare so i have tried to help the community or do my bit me i don't know if i have been able to help or not but i chose my medium of making films and empowered uh, try to help them as much as possible and not charge anything for it so that was my way of doing it uh, that i could just offer a part of my skill and if it could benefit them it could help raise them awareness it could help fund raise for their projects and if i could be a brand ambassador to to certain causes i was happy i am ha- still happy to do that uh, what message you would like to share with the youth who are going to take uh, entry into the film making uh, or writing stories or you know going into the production or marketing for that matter so these are all part of your film making so what message you would like to give to the youth trust me यूथ को मैसेज नहीं देना चाहिए यूथ हिमसेल्फ ही कम्स इन दैट कैटेगरी एंड यू सी हिज ग्रोथ नो बट देन यू कैन इंस्पायर आई आई लर्न एम स्टिल लर्निंग एंड आई कैन नॉट गिव यू एनी मैसेज बट आई वुड जस्ट गिव यू थिंक इफ यू बिलीव इन समथिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट डू इन लाइफ थोड़ा सा वॉक इन दैट वॉक इन दैट डायरेक्शन एंड बिफोर घर से नहीं भागना किसी चीज के लिए घर से बिल्कुल नहीं भागना अपनी फैमिली से बिल्कुल नहीं लड़ना बिकॉज रिमेंबर समटाइम्स पीपल नो हाउ टू एंटर समथिंग बट दे डोंट नो हाउ टू एग्जिट इफ इट डजेंट वर्क सो अंटिल अनलेस यू डोंट हैव एन एग्जिट प्लान यू नीड टू यू नीड सम पीपल टू कंफर्ट यू मे बी दैट वुड बी योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स मे बी दैट वुड बी योर फैमिली एंड एंड आई एम ब्लेस्ड दैट आई फाउंड बोथ गुड फैमिली दैट वुड अंडरस्टैंड इफ आई फील्ड कि जस्ट भी कोई बात नहीं यू स्टिल हैव अ लाइफ यू डू समथिंग इन लाइफ इफ यू आर लीडिंग अ पर्पजफुल लाइफ गो लिव इट दैट्स इट सो इफ फिल्म मेकिंग डज दैट फॉर यू इफ राइटिंग डज दैट फॉर यू इफ जस्ट वॉचिंग फिल्म डज दैट फॉर यू इफ जस्ट गोइंग ऑन अ वकेशन डज दैट फॉर यू इफ मेकिंग ब्लॉग्स और मेकिंग वीडियो लॉग्स और मेकिंग इंस्टाग्राम रील्स वॉट एवर ट्रेंड्स दैट यू मे वॉन्ट टू फॉलो यू वॉन्ट टू मेक अ पॉडकास्ट यू वॉन्ट टू डू एनी you want to be an author you want to just be a just enjoy making food and making videos of how you made food in the middle of the night if that gives you joy do it and you will find your way in in ye mere liye taaleem aati in ye laga maine aise kya tha in 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 short in short follow your passion follow uh, your passion i can only say that because i followed that how can i give an advice which i didn't follow jis raste mein nahi chala maine wo kya batana tha i walked that path na and trust me if believe in yourself na gym jaate ho kitne log exercise karte ho so many hands ek kitne log mobile phone use karte ho aur ye bhi 100% nahi hai phone nahi hai tum logon ke paas सबके पास है तो फोन तो सारे यूज करते हो सो दे आर नॉट रेजिंग हैंड्स फोन की बैटरी खत्म होती है कभी तो क्या है एज इट स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम नॉट यूजिंग इट बैटरी खत्म होगी तो चार्ज कर लेंगे <laughs> है ना सो द फियर दैट द बैटरी विल रन आउट मे बी योर मनी विल रन आउट बट दैट डज स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम यूजिंग इट एंड एंजॉइंग इट एंड दैट इज लाइफ सो इफ यू आर फाउंड अ वे वॉक ऑन इट एंड रेस्ट ऑल लीव इट टू फेट कुछ फेट भी काम कर लो ना थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच जसवी सुनील दस सर बैठे हैं पीछे एंड वेन आई वॉज परसुइंग माई मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम यू एस ओ एल आई वॉज एक्टिवली डायरेक्टिंग अ फिल्म एट दैट टाइम आई वॉज आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन अ टेलीविजन सीरियल एंड आई हैड टू बी एम पैनल्ड ऑन दूरदर्शन सो दैट टाइम दे सेट कि यू शुड हैव अ डिग्री इवन इफ यू हैव अ गुड वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस वी यू स्टिल नीड टू हैव अ डिग्री दैट कैन एक्चुअली फिट इन टू द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द क्वालिफिकेशन पार्ट आई सेट नॉलेज काम नहीं आएगी कहते नहीं आएगी एक बार यू गेट इन टू द जॉब फिर नॉलेज ही काम आएगी बट यू नीड अ प्रोग्राम अब 
अब इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू नो यू यू आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग सेवन ओ क्लॉक टू मे बी यू नो एट ओ क्लॉक नाइन ओ क्लॉक एंड देन यू कम होम एंड आई गॉट एन रोल्ड एंड एंड माई फॉर्म एंड माई डिपार्टमेंट फेल इन अंडर हिम राइट सो वेन आई हैड टू गिव द फाइनल एग्जाम सो आई थिंक इन माई मार्क्सिट हंड्रेड मार्क्स का था तो किसी में अब एडवर्टाइजिंग पब्लिक रिलेशन टेलीविजन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग दीज वॉज द सब्जेक्ट इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एग्जाम आई हैड स्कोर्ड क्लोज टू अराउंड नाइन्टी मार्क्स तो बिकॉज आई हैड दैट प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज ओनली इन द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम सर ये प्रैक्टिकल वाला किस्सा आप बताओ मैं इसको ओनली प्रोडक्ट करता हूँ फेल नहीं किया आपने प्रैक्टिकल सेगमेंट ऐसे की थी ताकि फेल हो जाओ पर मैंने इसको पास कर दिया मैंने आपको क्योंकि आपको भी डिग्री है अगर मैं फेल करता तो आपको डिग्री नहीं होती तो मीन्स वर्क तो इसमें मतलब वर्क तो वो जिसने ऐसा किया था फेल होने होने लायक मैंने तो पास कर दिया था तो मैंने कहा था कि ये किस्सा हम तब सुनाएंगे जब हम कुछ लाइफ में बन जाएंगे है ना सर है ना तो तो मतलब आई वाज प्रैक्टिकली मेकिंग फिल्म्स और मेरे प्रैक्टिकल में सबसे कम नंबर आए थे कि क्योंकि उसमें ना ऐसे क्वेश्चन आए थे ये ना फोटो की कैप्शन लिख दो तो इसकी क्या कैप्शन लिखनी है क्योंकि एट दैट टाइम दैट जॉब वॉज टू बी डन बाई दिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर <laughs> अब उस वक्त मैं ये नहीं सोच सकता था कि मैं आके बोलूं कि करिकुलम में चेंज करो ये चीजें बहुत डिफरेंट है ये एक्चुअल लाइफ में बहुत डिफरेंट है मतलब आई कॉन्ट डू दैट एट दैट टाइम बट नाउ ये चीज हमारा एक जिंदगी भर का किस्सा बन गया बन सर बन पक्का हो गया ना बिल्कुल बन गया तो आज ठीक है आगे से करना आगे से वॉट आर द बेसिक एंड द ब्रॉड चैलेंजेस विच यू हैव फेस्ड Uh, during your journey of a decade when you started your journey you were not sure where you are heading to whether you will be able to survive or you will be uh, you have to change your line so what are your challenges in this uh, one decade of your career maybe that will help uh, these people good क्या करता है फिल्म डायरेक्टर किसी ने मुझे पूछा कहते हैं आप कैमरा चलाते हो मैं कर नहीं वो सिनेमाटोग्राफर का काम है आप पिक्चर एडिट करते हो मैंने कहा नहीं वो तो फिल्म एडिटर का काम है कि तो आप क्या करते हो आप पिक्चर में म्यूजिक देते हो मैं कर नहीं अगर गाने हैं तो वो म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर का काम है और अगर वो फिल्म का बैकग्राउंड स्कोर है तो वो कंपोजर का काम है तो आप क्या गाने लिखते हो मैं कर नहीं वो लिरिसिस्ट का काम है कह रहे तो आप डांस करवाते हो मैं कर नहीं वो कोरियोग्राफर का काम है कहते तो आप पिक्चर में पैसा डालते हो कैसे नहीं वो प्रोड्यूसर का काम है <laughs> तो आप क्या करते हो मैं कहा मैं इन सब लोगों को जोड़ देता हूँ <laughs> दूसरा चैलेंज था जब मैं घर आया अपनी पहली फिल्म बना करके मेरे नानी जी पूछते ठीक ठाक पैसे कमा लेता है कि नहीं बिकॉज इज नो बडी यू पी इज अ डायरेक्टर ओनली द डायरेक्टर इज एन ऑन्टरप्रनर You have to discover your own script. You have to discover your next purpose in life. एक picture जब आपकी चल जाती है the challenge begins after that. जब मैं national award लेने when I walked and I met President Ma'am. So वो तीस second जब मैं चल के गया ना तो मेरी सारी जिंदगी की रील चल रही थी और मैं सोच रहा था shit. इसके बाद अगली picture क्या आएगी वो मुझे नहीं पता है ना So expectations, meeting expectations every time, making your film purposeful. In every time you need to see happy faces. Are we able to see happy faces today? So that is that was a challenge. That 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 will remain a challenge throughout. Every time you have to go out and prove yourself like you have never done before. So every film we start we start from zero. We have to wash out all expectations. And either everybody will start comparing you to your own self. Iski pichli film chali thi, agli nahi chali. ऐसा अभी भी साफ पूछते हैं आप डॉक्यूमेंट्री बनाते हो फिल्म बनाते हो अब आप मुझे बताओ डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म है कि फिल्म डॉक्यूमेंट्री है ऐसे डॉक्यूमेंट्री इज अ जॉनर ऑफ फिल्म देर इज अ म्यूजिकल फिल्म देर इज अ ड्रामा फिल्म देर इज एन एक्शन फिल्म देर इज अ कॉमेडी फिल्म लाइक देर इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म सो दैट इज अ सबसेट ऑफ फिल्म सो दीज आर चैलेंजेस यू फेस ऑन अ डेली लाइफ बट आई एम हैप्पी टू टॉक अबाउट दैम एवरी टाइम आई मीट बट आई गेट I think I get witty and quirky every time. I have to be very creative in the way I have to answer my own self. कि मैंने खुद को satisfy किया कि नहीं ये बात क्या क्या. 
that is true that is true but just we we are really grateful to you for sharing your vision with the the audiences today so so uh, they are all charged up and will take away lot of uh, you know things from your words of wisdom and maybe uh, that will help them in building their careers and their path ahead so i'm sure uh, you going to motivate them so what i want to wrap up with is uh, never uh, limit your always and your nevers go ahead with your passion and work towards it that is very important thank you so much thank you thank you so much